Hi everyone, it's Luke and welcome to a quick Games Are Fun video. I was going to do an unboxing of the DualSense for the PlayStation 5, but I opted not to because it was just too awkward. I couldn't get the camera angle in the right way. So I decided to unbox it off camera and then do an impressions video for you guys. So here it is, the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. So right off the bat, it is heavier than the DualShock 4. Not that much heavier, but there is a noticeable increase in the weight. Uh, it's a lot heftier, and honestly, I, I like that. It makes it feel like a better quality product and better built. The, you know, holding it like I would a controller, you can tell that it is definitely a different shape than the DualShock 4, uh, specifically the sides of the controller and how they fit into your palms. And then these handles down here on the inside, I feel like they're really well supported my fingers that you know aren't utilizing the triggers speaking of the triggers they feel really solid that adaptive triggers that playstation has been advertising for months now obviously can't be seen by just pressing them i'll have to experience them in game to to see their full potential but they feel great um i like the size of them i don't know if they're longer or less curved i'm not too sure but they feel great and you know the buttons do feel quite glossy and somewhat slippery now that's probably just because this is a brand new controller and i'm sure all my oils will make them less slippery but that's just you know initial impressions upon pressing the buttons uh, analog sticks feel good the rubberized grip on there uh, seems to be you know, better than the DualShock 4 in terms of quality, but again, that will probably get worn down after several gameplay sessions. And then, yeah, USB-C. I did want to inform you guys that if you buy the DualSense separately, it does not come with a USB-C cable. So I don't know why they wouldn't have just thrown the cable inside of there, but it's probably because they wanted to, to push that licensed charging dock um, that they have advertised heavily. So uh, again, a bit of a miss there, but not the biggest concern considering most people probably have USB-C cables handy. So overall, it feels really great. I think it's a huge improvement from the DualShock 4. DualShock 4, not my favorite controller in the world. And this is a significant upgrade. So I think anyone who has been has any sort of complaint about the DualShock 4, re regardless of what it is, whether it's how it feels or, you know, the buttons on it, I think that's going to be solved when you get your hands on the DualSense. So really excited to finally, you know, in a couple of weeks, be able to play with this controller and see what it, it's capable of. So that is the PlayStation 5 DualSense. Thank you guys for checking out this video and make sure you catch Weekly episodes of Games Are Fun on your favorite podcast services. Just search for Games Are Fun. All right, we'll talk to you later.